Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, the Cab 3 app, iOS version, is uh, updated and on the App Store. The Android version is at uh, the Google Play Store. I guess it's being reviewed before it's being posted, so that should be coming any time now. Uh, there's a whole list of bug fixes and things yet to be fixed on the Line Out Power and Control website, and I'll put a link uh, to that site in the description. So what we're going to do today, though, is now we have the ability to update the Base 3 from the Cab 3 app. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first step after you've updated your app is, of course, to download the firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the app. Now, my Base 3 is on. I run my Base in home network mode, which means I'm connected to the internet at the same time I'm connected to the base three. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the app. We want to go to the base three side. And it's going to connect, but um, even if your base was off, say you're upstairs with your phone, you weren't anywhere near your base, base wasn't turned on, we don't need the base for this uh, step. So a couple things to notice. We now have an <clears throat> an engine configuration button, a base configuration button, a swipe left, and a swipe right arrow button. So pretty cool. Um, no more swiping. So we'll push the base configuration button. We get to the base firmware updater. We're going to select that. And because we are connected to my base and we are connected to the internet, and I've downloaded 1.26 before, you'll see that these versions are all the same. Current version, firmware version on cab three, latest firmware version available. So right now it's all 1.26. I'm gonna go ahead, download it again. I'm gonna go ahead and update the base again. The instructions are right here. Follow them and you shouldn't have any problem. But I'm gonna go step by step so you can see how this is done. So again, we're connected to the internet. We're gonna select firmware and download. So we want firmware version 1.26, which is the latest. We're gonna hit select and it's very fast and it's downloaded. So now that firmware is stored on your device. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna break out of the app. I closed on the app. Now my base three, we're gonna go ahead and update that now. Okay, so at this point, we backed out of the app. We've downloaded the firmware while connected to the internet. So now I'm gonna turn off my base three and slide this switch, the network AP switch to AP, because to do the update, the device has to connect directly to the base three network. The next thing you wanna do is hold down the gear symbol and turn on the base. This puts it in the update mode, and we know that by the flashing line on the side. The next thing you want to do is go into your device settings and make sure that you connect directly to the Lino Base 3 network. Once it shows connected there, go ahead and open up your Cab 3 app and it'll connect to the Base 3. Next, we want to go to the Base Configuration button. We want to go to Base Firmware Updater. Again, the instructions are there if you get stuck, but pretty much uh, they're very good, and we're going through them step by step. So now we want to hit Update Base 3 Firmware. And this is about a 30 to 35 second procedure. You get a little... Uh, Updating firmware there, uh, you see the progress. Of course, the base has a little bit of uh, activity there. And again, it takes about uh, 
35 to 40 seconds. It's not long at all. Progress bar is almost done. And when it's done, then we'll get a firmware update OK prompt. Now at this point, what we want to do is restart the base. And we push this. The base restarts. Now you got two decisions to make here. If you run AP mode, you don't have to throw the switch on the front. You just leave it in AP mode, but you may have to reconnect your device back to the Lionel um, network. Since I run home network mode, I'm going to go ahead and throw that switch to network. I'm going to go back, and I'm probably going to reconnect. Even though it's showing it's connected, I'm going to go ahead and push that a couple times until it disconnects and then reconnects. It's a little, uh, got to hit it just right. There you go. And it'll connect. We're going to now connect it. We can go into the base configuration, base firmware updater. And even though mine all showed 1.26 before, uh, now yours should show all 1.26. So very easy to do. Uh, definitely worth doing the update because um, when uh, the base three utility comes out, you'll need to be on 1.26. So um, not too bad, I don't think. So uh, I hope you find this video useful. Hope you find it informational. And uh, until next time, happy railroading.